Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm not using a doll to talk today to show you how weird my videos would look if I didn't do that. I've done a lot this weekend. I went thrifting today to a big flea market and then a big thrift store. It was a lot of fun. And then I played some Pokemon Go because it was Pokemon Go Fest. I didn't pay for it, but I got the shiny legendary uh, Necrozma. Necrozma? I don't know how to say it, but I got one shiny. It was pretty cool. Um, what else did I do? Oh, yeah, on Friday, I went to see that movie with Nick Cage, uh, Long Legs. Pretty good. Um, to be honest, there was a lot of things that, like, if you think about it, they don't really make sense. But if you don't think about it, then the movie's still enjoyable. So overall, I'd say that one was pretty good. Uh, my favorite part was um, when Nicolas Cage caged out in the movie. Me and my friend went to see it together, and we kept calling him Nicholas Uncaged. Um, good movie. I liked it. To be honest, I'm a really big fan of the horror genre as a whole. Um, I usually go to see the movies with the same friend. Her name's Allison. We always go and see the horror movies together. It's a lot of fun. Um, the One of the most recent ones we saw, other than Long Legs, was Maxine. Although, um, Maxine, I guess, would be more, like, equivalent to a thriller. Like, I wasn't really scared watching it, but, I mean, <laughs> it was good. It was really good. Uh, Maxine is a part of the X trilogy, starting with X, then Pearl, then Maxine, which came out this year. Pearl was amazing. It's probably still my favorite movie from the franchise. Well, not really franchise, but the trilogy, you know? Pearl is a really good movie. I definitely recommend watching it. Um, X is good, too. Though, I think I'd say X is probably the least um, strong of the trilogy, so the weakest. But it's still good, you know? Why am I talking about horror movies so much? Do you guys even watch- do you guys even watch all of those like I do, or am I just like... I think a lot of you do. Monster High has definitely attracted a lot of horror fans, right? I don't know, let me know if you watch horror movies. Tell me which one's your favorite, or which one is the most recent one that you've seen. And, um, tell me if there's an upcoming one that you want to see. I kept seeing a trailer for this movie called Trap, which is like... I just think it'd be funny if the guy who's walking around causing all this mayhem isn't even actually the killer. Like, I think it'd just be really funny if it wasn't him. He just got nervous and he just started doing that. Yeah, anyway, enough talking about unrelated stuff. Let's do something else. So I only have my doll room for a couple more days. Yeah, a couple more days. It's not weeks. Uh, and then I'm going to be out of here and in England for a while. By the way, I'm happy so many of you are excited to see the kind of videos I make in England. It's gonna, probably going to be, like, similar to the vlogs I make now, but another person will be in them. So there's going to be a little dynamic for you guys to witness. The dynamic being between me and my girlfriend, so, um... Despite thrifting all day, I barely found anything. I didn't get any new dolls. So, um... Yeah, I wasn't able to make a thrift haul today. My mom got a bunch of Barbies, though. Uh, she got a fashionista Ken, which I believe is Ryan who, if I remember correctly, is Raquel's brother, I think? Is Ryan her brother, or is that only in Life in the Dream House? I don't remember. I wanted to clean my doll room up a little before I'm not here for a bit. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying a bit, like it's a short time. It's gonna be a, a while um, that I'm gone. So I need to pick up all the little things I have on the floor, just so it looks nicer in here. I also wanna try to get my dolls off the floor, the best that I can anyway, because some of these dolls have to stay on the floor. Also, I need to get those four out of here and packed away. For now, I'm just starting with picking up random clothing pieces and I'm going to sort them where I need them to be. But for now, I just want them off the floor. I also wanna make sure the closet is in order. I put Neon Frights Toralai in here and I'm also saving my Hisfits box. Uh, this is the empty one. I'm saving it until I get a second set to keep in the box. Okay, otherwise everything seems to be in order here as in order as it can be anyway because it is still a mess in there you know also these two still need to be brought to my room i haven't done that yet yeah it'll be easy i'll just take these two to my room right now their hands and stuff i'm just gonna leave here i do have a place i put this stuff i should probably put all this where i usually put these extra hands here we go they're all gone so now these two just need to be taken to my room so i will do that and then return and there we go they're not in here anymore i have displayed them in my room hopefully they don't fall i've been able to, to balance the other ones that i have in here why did i say balance so weird i was able to balance rouge the bat or ray as she's called but uh this one what's her name again fa yeah fa fa kept falling 
I don't know why Rouge was standing, but Fa wasn't. Also, if you hear loud music, my grandma is watching TikToks very loudly downstairs. So, I don't know why I'm showing you my Bratz shelf. I already forgot what I was going to do there. Anyway, I've got three new Monster High stands that my mom got out of a lot recently. This one, I believe, is a Draculaura stand. It's the one I have my basic doll on. And I also have a Rochelle on that stand, so I use this pink stand a lot. I've been trying to decide which doll I want to bestow this pink stand upon. I figured it should probably be a pink doll, but I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I'll give it to Prototype Laguna just because being like an unreleased doll, I think she deserves a special stand. But I'm also thinking about maybe possibly giving it to like Caddy or somebody else. I don't know. Because I hate Draculaura. I know, that was probably a big revelation for some of you. Lizzie, how could you hate Draculaura? It's mostly as a joke. Like, I, I have almost all of her dolls. I wouldn't do that if I hated her. I'm just kind of like sick of her. She's so obscenely popular. What the fuck? When did I get a chip on my fucking... Okay. Draculaura is so obscenely popular. And I just like... <laughs> seeing her annoys me. <laughs> I don't know why. I still like her. Whenever I see her at the flea market, I'm like, oh shit, Draculaura, you know? Oh. When did you drop your thing? Gigi. Gigi! Gigi is always fucking with me. First it was the one up here, and now it's this one. She's a cursed character. Anyway, I fixed it. So, yeah, we gotta decide who gets the pink stand. I think I might have... Yeah, I have Cupid on a pink stand, too. You know, I think that kind of salmon pink stand is Draculaura's actual basic stand, but I have her on the dead tired stand instead just because I like the pink better. Also, yeah, my dogs are barking. There's nothing I can do about it. They're annoying. I've also thought about giving Kiyomi the pink stand, but she has a blue haunted stand, so she's fine. I could give it to one of my Draculauras over here. It would make sense. I sh really should be looking at the dolls that I currently don't have displayed so I can display them, but... That doesn't really apply to many of my G1 dolls. The only G1 doll that I have on the floor not being displayed is my Freak Du Chic Torlai over here, my second one. And the only reason she's not displayed is no reason. I just like her being there. I want to unbox another doll, but I cannot decide which one to do. I'm very indecisive. Have you noticed that about me? Yeah, I have been looking at these four here, trying to decide which one I want to unbox for what feels like months. Especially for Ruby and Cora here. I don't know why I can't decide. <laughs> I really don't. I've decided on keeping Max in the box for now, just because I want one of these to be in the box. So maybe I should unbox Sparkle Star. Yeah, maybe we'll go with her. I think Cora's gonna fall. She did. Cora's fun because she's more hair than doll. It's very amusing. Yeah, let's unbox Sparkle Star. I got this doll for $7 the other day. My Walmart had a fucking wall of this doll they had so many of her that they had so many of this doll and they had her at full price for months so they just had this wall of her just sitting there unpurchased nobody was buying her because she was full price and they had like three million of her why did they why is there tape here but yeah they finally put this doll on sale I don't know why it took so long, and by the time they put her on sale, there was only like two or three left. I don't know where all the other ones went. So yeah, Sparkle Star, finally got her. This is the first like sports themed OMG that I've unboxed. This is like the first one I've bought. I mean, I think, I think I have another sports OMG. I think it's the soccer player, uh, Kicks, Kicks Babe. Yeah, I have Kicks Babe but I didn't unbox her. I put her away. I don't know why I did that. To be honest, comparing her to the artwork, her hair does not look the way it's supposed to, but she's still cute. So let's get the rest of her accessories out and take a look at what we got. So in there we had her varsity jacket and inside the varsity jacket, we got some fake boobs. I'm so excited. So this is a real functioning zipper. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen that in a doll line in quite some time. So I figure we'll just put that on her now. So I took her um, jersey off just because the shirt underneath is super cute. And I think I like that more, especially when we're going to add her jewelry. 
Like, I get it, she's supposed to wear this thing because she's a sports doll, but I like her better without it, so we're gonna keep her like that. So now we get to rip open the paper bags. Oh my god, I miss OMGs coming with this much stuff you get to open. The new ones don't really have, like, surprise packaging anymore. Not that much, anyway. Like, the other day I did... Is there anything else in here? No, these are empty now. Like, the other day I unboxed that doll right there. The only things I had to put on her were her earrings and her, like, glasses. And I think her shoes. Nothing was really a surprise. I think I also put her gloves on her. With this doll, she's also mostly dressed, but at least I got to add, like, a jacket, you know? And I think she's going to have a decent amount of, like, jewelry accessories. Yeah, we've got her two big bow clips that go in front of her things. We've got her basketball hoops and her gold chain. So let's put those things on her. I guess we'll start with the chain. Yeah, that's cute. Very interesting. She's cute though. I really like this doll. To be honest, I might put her thing back on just so she's artwork accurate, but for now I'm happy with the way she looks. And also there are some more accessories in here that I missed, so we're going to have to see what's in here. I think it's gonna be like a trophy. Yeah. Yeah, it says number one star. I thought this said bi star. I thought they were like confirming she was bisexual. And we've also got her basketball shaped purse. It's got a short um, a short one or a long one, depending on how you want her to hold it. And it does open, but she doesn't really have any accessories you could put in there. So cool, I guess. So there we go, Sparkle Star. She's cute. To be honest, this one's pretty underrated. Her hair is definitely a mess right now, but I will do what I can to make it look decent. So yeah, that means I have another box that I can throw away. And why is her brush... Why is Spectre's brush out here? Of course, I now have the issue of where I'm gonna put this doll because I, I don't know. Every time I unbox a doll, I just create a new issue for myself. So I didn't really do the things I was setting out to do in this video. I think I said I wanted to clean up and I still have stuff on the floor. So I failed. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end the video here and I'm gonna use Margot to say goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye. I'm so tired. Sorry, this video was so, like, boring. <laughs>